Hello, happy people. I hope you're having just a great day today. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing, I'm um, setting aside some time in October uh, to take a look at the Cthulhu Mythos. This is my third October in a row, which I have taken off to dedicate to the horror short stories um, and the occasional science fiction short story in the uh, or, and there's sometimes a fantasy one like by Clark Ashton Smith in the Cthulhu Mythos. Today we're going to be taking a look at a short story from the Cthulhu 2000 collection published by Del Rey in the uh, sort of oeuvre uh, by H.P. Lovecraft. And this short story we're taking a look at today is Pickman's Modem by Lawrence Watt Evans. Lawrence Watt Evans is a Hugo Award winning science fiction writer who won a Hugo for the short story uh, Why I Left Harry's Online Hamburgers, which I reviewed for you. Uh, he was probably more well known for fantasy uh, than for science fiction. He wrote a lot of fantasy stuff, which I reviewed for you, uh, for, for this channel. I love Lawrence Watt Evans. Look, look. Man, he's awesome. He's one of my uh, top 10 most influential works uh, in my life. He's on my appendix in. Uh, but anyway, um, he is definitely a strong, strong fantasy writer. Uh, he's not as well known in the other genres of speculative fiction like horror uh, or science fiction. Although he did win a Hugo in it. So that he's that's certainly a good thing for one of his short stories. Uh, that was published. Um, but we're taking a look at Pickman's Modem. Pickman's Modem, is, I've, I've read this a collection when I was in college and I was pursuing the Lovecraft mythos uh, heavily. Um, and I picked up a few uh, Cthulhu mythos um, collections when I was in college and devoured them. And I haven't gone back and read this whole collection, although I've read the occasional short story here and there. So I wanted to head back there for my Cthulhu mythos October. And take another look at some of these short stories. Um, so we're reading Pickman's Modem uh, to start off to kickstart uh, this collection um, because it's the shortest one. It's like six pages long. It doesn't take you that long. Uh, so it's super easy to read. Super. Uh, I'll take a look to see if this is online. I doubt it. Uh, I doubt it's pre you know this was, this was written uh, much later in in stuff, and I don't think anything uh, by Lawrence Watt Evans is free past its, its copyright date yet. Um, so I doubt it, but I'll link you to the Cthulhu 2000 collection so that that way you can review this short story there in case you're interested. So let's go ahead and start with what's happening in Pikmin's Modem. So Pikmin's Modem is set during the time of dialing um, a phone connection or to connect to the internet. Um, and, our, and our main character is a point of view character who connects to the internet uh, and they have a lot of like forum conversations and post-it notes uh, and that sort of thing in the early sort of era of the internet. Um, and I used to be a sysop for a bulletin board system uh, when I was a kid so I know sort of the pre-internet back, back days uh, and I was very active in the internet during that time period. So I'm definitely familiar with the ideas of what's happening during during this sort of thing. So it definitely resonates with me. Uh, anyway, one person who writes there who's uh, not very good at the writing, although he is good at the flaming, uh, he um, hasn't been online for a bit of time. And then he comes back online and apologizes because his success is modem broke. And he just got a new modem, uh, super cheap from Miskatonic uh, Systems. Uh, which is out in Arkham. Uh, it's a 2400 baud modem. And everybody's like, is this is the same guy? It's super, uh, super uh, detailed. And it's like, did he go to a writing school? Uh, and that sort of a thing. So everybody, uh, and our point of view character is like, huh. They think maybe somebody else has hacked his account or, you know, might be, might be posting his hand. That sort of a thing. So anyway. Uh, but anyway, so we go ahead and head on out, um, and then there is a massive flame war uh, that happens between our main character and another character, and it's a big flame war. And I'll leave you there, because it's like two, two, two and a half pages into a six-page short story. So I'll leave you there and figure out what happens at the end. It's pretty good. Um, it's definitely ends on a Grimm's horror note. Um, it's definitely a horror short story by Lars Watt Evans. Uh, for you in the speculative fiction genre. Uh, so it's definitely pretty good. I like it. It's probably more of a faster read. 
Um, it's probably more of like a 7 out of 10. Um, it's good. It's fine. It's worth your time. It's super fast. It won't even take 15 minutes of your time uh, for you to knock it out uh, for the first time. Uh, but I'll, I did enjoy it. Um, and I, and, and I, it's not, not, it is a bit of a throwback because the idea of modems and dialing up and connectivity and those sorts of things obviously aren't happening today, right? Uh, so it is a bit of a throwback. Uh, but there are some throwback short stories in the, in the, I think help to sort of capture the era and what was happening. There's one, uh, there's, there's a, a short story, for example, that was written in the 20s called The Night Wire, which is in this collection, which I love a lot, uh, which is set during the Telegraph era and uses the Telegraph era as key parts of its horror. Uh, and the same thing is true here. Uh, the the uh, key parts of the horror are, are involved the modem and what's happening with it. Uh, and so I, and I appreciate that. And I think it, it helps to capture sort of the, the zeitgeist of the era when it came to the sort of tech side of things um, and how complex that was. Anyway, there you are. I'll leave you to it. That is Lawrence what, Evans's Pickman's Modem. Have you read it? What did you think of it? Did you agree or disagree with my take in any way, shape, or form? If so, I would be more than happy to engage with it further in the comments below. If you like this video, hey, why not hit that subscribe button? Because there's going to be a lot more of these to follow in fantasy, science fiction, and horror like this one. And then finally, hey, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives, right? And we're propelled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling. And I appreciate it. So thanks again and have a great day.